wrapped up the week with us last week as we had a, our oldest had a, gave us another grandchild, a new niece for you. Huh? Pretty exciting. So kind of Travis had come here, what, last Friday? Yeah, for Easter. Saturday? Yeah, for Easter. And he headed home for work for the week and we kind of hung out with him. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go check out your place. Spend the night here in Wisconsin. Day trip tomorrow over to the new camp. Yeah. Hang out there for a night, anyways. Looks like they got a little snow up there. Mm. Exciting, huh? Mm. I would be pretty excited about that because then we could see like where all the deer have been traversing through the property. True. Where when we went up before it was just kind of like a dusty one. Yeah, true. I guess that's the plus side. Well, look at you, the optimist. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> well, it looked like I was boring you when I was oh, talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bored about snow. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> so we're getting into springtime here. Oh yeah, there's the light. Nice. It's pretty. Um. Yeah, spring. Gobbler <laughs> season. Pretty excited about that. It opens in 15 days for Michigan. our hotel had an awesome day with uh, McKenna and her husband Travis uh, it was great to catch up we'll miss them uh, they head back to their their place now so Amy and I are gonna get a, a bit of rest tonight and then tomorrow morning get up early head to deer camp baby yes super excited uh, so we'll get a at least a night in uh, up at camp be able to check on things and uh, have a little bit of uh, R&R, &R. so super excited. Stay tuned. Okay, it's the next morning. Packed up, ready to head out. Watershed Hotel, that's where it's at. Oh my gosh, nice place. So uh, I got the chainsaw battery all charged up last night. Uh, worked pretty good last time, so I just left the gas powered one at home. And then got some uh, mattresses that we're gonna bring up and swap out on some of the beds at camp. Uh, some of them that were already there were not so comfy, so be gift to any of the guys that come during the fall. They'll appreciate that for sure. So uh, yeah, next next stop, deer camp. Yes. It's the next day, April six, oh, Saturday wait. morning. Hold on. I'm not ready for the recording yet. You gotta look all pretty first. Yeah. You look pretty already. Look at you. Just give me five minutes. When you're naturally beautiful. <laughs> That's I say? very nice. <laughs> but I would rather this look not ever be recorded. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. in case we do use this footage. Just the <laughs> ceremonious. Super excited. Ooh, we're on the road again. April 6th. Head to camp. We're uh, got McKenna all dropped off and back on the road again. You're all yeah. dialed up. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I'm at least sufficient. <laughs> also, uh, yeah, so exciting. Got a trail camp pick last night of a skunk going through Keel. Maybe it's a fisher. Could be. <laughs> Could be. That'd be a lot cooler. That would be. Yeah. Looked like there was a little bit of snow there yet. We'll see how it goes going in there. 
buttload of trees over there. Yeah. Trail, all that stuff. I'm sure it'll be out there. Yeah. Yeah. Get an extra pump for spring going by these fields with Tom's at full strut. Mm -hmm. It's that time of year. Yeah. So I guess it's fair to say we are super excited. across the road yet. Good times. What do you think? I'm super excited. Yeah. Oh, that's where we got stopped before. Oh yeah, no trees over the two track. Still clear. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good deal. Love it. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to build the blind right there. Ooh. That should be the issues. back here mm -hmm. yeah sure is so it makes it all the more adventurous yeah. oh there she is still standing all right so uh yeah here's camp but i got a quick funny story to share okay you ready yep so Amy and I were up here over New Year's. You might have saw that video already. And so it was the last day. And I've got my phone camera on. I'm just talking as we're getting ready to close up the camp. You know, here we are. We're getting ready to head home. You know, always a sad day. And, uh, and I'm walking out the door. And then I went and, of course, shut off the generator and everything. Got, you know, things up closed up the rest of the way and we drive home and just in time to watch the Rose Bowl and so you know of course watch Michigan win you know all excited then the next game came on and uh, watch that for a bit I'm like I'm going to bed you know we had a big long day and everything got work the next day so I curl into bed and I grab my phone I'm like oh I'll watch some of the you know videos from the, the New Year's trip that Amy and I had. So I pulled the video when I'm in the camp, you know, doing that recording, and I noticed just as I'm walking out the door that the propane light is on above my head at the ceiling. I'm like, oh my gosh, I left that on. 
So I pulled up a trail camera that I have on the camp and sure enough, I can just see the glow in camp. I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. I mean, I got no energy to drive all the way back up here, you know, to, to deal with it. So just said a prayer. <coughs> so I just said a prayer. Next morning, I start thinking, oh my gosh, you know, what am I gonna do? And finally I got a hold of uh, somebody I knew up here that might know, you know, where I've got a spare key, you know, to be able to get into the camp. And uh, thank goodness was able to arrange for somebody to come over and get that light shut off. And I guess the carbon monoxide detector was going nuts at the time. And uh, anyways, uh, that was just kind of a funny story. So, there we have it. We're here. Super excited. Why was the carbon monoxide detector going hmm. nuts? From being so closed up, so tight for so long with the propane light. Oh. It's giving off, you know, a little bit of carbon monoxide. So it was a cumulative. But yeah. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and pull up to the camp here and get things unloaded and enjoy the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what happens when your kids move out of the house. We're here. Here we are. I'm gonna go outside. Let's do it. Okay. Can't believe we're not outside already. What you waiting for? You. Let's go. Okay. What a beautiful day. Gosh. It is gorgeous. Love it. sign around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deer poop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Deer poop. Quite the runway. What you got there? Oh, I got my, I got my 
concealed carry. Yeah. Not unconcealed right now. I started much practice with it, so I thought this would be a great time to just yeah. get her out, get her going. Sure yep. Good. MMP shield. This is the easy, so yep. it's a little easier to rack. Yep. Nice. Pretty easy. Ready to rack. Yep. All right, let's go. Okay. Yep. Are these like little pines or what are these? Pretty recent tracks down here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is juicy. Travis, I saw a nice buck moving through here last fall. There she is. Yeah, how's it look? Looks great. Awesome. I don't know. It's just like more camp with, you know, a big elk hero or something oh, yeah. like in the front of the cabin, don't you think? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. I like it a lot. Mm hmm. It's awesome. awesome. All right, well, 
We got the elk gyro hung up on the wall. Thanks to my buddy Dean for uh, donating that uh, for camp. Looks awesome. Makes it more, I don't know, campish, if that's a word. So Amy and I are going to get settled in here, uh, have some dinner, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night uh, before we head out tomorrow morning back to reality. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Have a super spring. Well, that was a productive walk. I just went to one of the other boundaries on the property that I've never seen yet. And when I bought this property, I was trying to get as much, you know, intel as I could from the previous property owner who owned the property for 20, 30 years before me to, you know, I wasn't looking to be lazy by any means, you know, Nothing beats boots on the ground, but I was hoping they would relay anything they could. It might help me, you know, get a jump start on figuring, you know, the area out. And um, glad I went and checked out this other boundary. There's a ton of deer sign there, and you can tell that uh, they did some trapping and hunting over in the vicinity. So I'm sure it was. They were kind of figuring the same thing. Now, what their harvests were out of that area, who knows? And, you know, this is the big woods, so it could, it changes, you know, year to year. But, man, there is, regardless, there is a ton of deer sign over there uh, right now. Um, it looks like there has been for years. So we should definitely uh, keep an eye on that. I wish I had a extra cell cam on me. I'd, I'd put that on before I head out of town here. But what a productive walk. Oh, I'm so glad, you know, even though we got uh, not even a full 24 hours here to, to spend, it was still worth uh, just making the trip and Spending some time out in my woods. How cool. Loving this new camp. Uh, the old camp. I got cameras over there. and I know we, uh, there's quite a bit of deer activity over there. You know, they just plain had an easy winter. So they uh, never shipped out like they typically do over by the other camp. And. There's a lot of cedars and um, habitat here that would lend well to some yarding. So maybe I'll find at the new camp the deer don't ship off uh, at least as early as they do with the other one. The other one, it seems like most of the years by Thanksgiving they're out of there. Yeah, we shall see. Beautiful day. Wow. This is just awesome.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I went over the property corner down at that end. Mm -hmm. There is an insane amount of deer sign over there. And it looks like good mature deer are hanging out over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, lots of cedars. Just great deer habitat. Uh, and so that was a pleasant surprise. Looking at the sign over there, it would have been productive this past season for sure. I mean, there's just a ton of deer activity. Time to pack up. Man, did we have a, a good weekend. We only got to camp for less than a, a full day, but it was still way worth the trip. Amy and I just had an awesome time going for walks and just uh, enjoying the new cabin. Good time. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a fantastic spring. Good luck to any of you turkey hunters, shed hunters, mushroom hunters it's uh it's a great time of year thanks for joining us bye-bye time to go home it's a nice quick trip it was i woke up a lot of times last night but mm. uh, i was sleeping i was out yeah yeah kind of same i had the I had my sleeping mask in um, with noise canceling headphones in them, so I barely heard you snore. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful sunrise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were just talking yesterday. We are like, you know what? Let's just stay here for the month. <laughs> oh, I'm just so attached to those kids and grandbabies, though. Yeah. Oh, and our jobs. Right. <laughs> and our friends and our family. <laughs> Pretty much everything. But it would be nice yeah. someday. It is tempting to just leave it all and live it again. Mm -hmm. And times. You can all come see us at Thanksgiving. <laughs> talked about fixing this road system through here but it's kind of fun you get to use four wheel drive every <laughs> time it is kind of fun bumpy at <laughs> cruising speed <laughs> of cedars wasn't it yes those are your That's favorite yeah. yeah where it swings up onto the south end of our property there mm -hmm. those are our cedars mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> for our cedars mm -hmm. a lot of balsam mm -hmm. 
Aspen, Poplar, Cherry, some Maple. Gotta be some Tamarack in here. Mm -hmm. Cedars, of course. That makes up the majority of it. all the uh, raspberries in here. Mm. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>